Um, again, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another online class. Thank you so much for attending our class today. Uh, today, we'll be talking about, or we're going to continue our discussion about Adobe Photoshop. And this time around, we're going to talk about layer mask. Uh, please be sure to watch and then listen attentively. And then later on, you can also rewatch the replay of this class if you wanted to review. And then if you wanted to practice more about Adobe Photoshop on your own. So uh, make sure that your screen is on full screen or your phone is on full screen if you're using smartphones because later on we'll be using Adobe Photoshop and some parts may be very uh, visible so make sure you're not a full screen in your phones. Alright, so let's talk about layer mask. What exactly is layer mask? Why is it important in Adobe Photoshop? And how do we use it? We're going to discuss that today. If you have any questions or clarifications, Please share it with the class later on. Or you can also send it here in our Satung chat. There is a Google Meet. You can also send it right here. Or you can also send it in our Facebook chat group as well. If you have any questions for clarification. Um, so previously, we've discussed about Adobe Photoshop, the adjustment layers. So can anyone please share an example of an adjustment layer? You can say pwede makahatag ng example. O sarak example of an adjustment layer for Adobe Photoshop. That's correct. So, aboy, unsaday? Okay, contrast, brightness and contrast. And then colors. Unsa pa may lain? Exposure, that's correct. Okay, so the adjustment layers allows us to modify the images without really modifying it so if you can remember the adjustment layers only serves as a cover mural siya og cover ba nga ibutang nako ang design sa cover and then ang cover ipatapot nako sa picture inana so wala na ko ba ang picture i'm only doing on the cover itself but not on the picture so why is it um the the i'm sorry the advantage of using adjustment layers is that we'll be able to if di not nag if dili na to ditaganahan sa adjustment we didn't like how our design turned out we can always remove the adjustment layer without really changing anything to the photo so anyway we'll talk more about adjustment layer today uh, later on the reason why um, adjustment layer is very important but we can we can we can appreciate the uh, the the functionalities or the the purpose of adjustment layer more if we're going to talk about layer mask again we can we can enjoy more or we can appreciate adjustment layers more if we're going to discuss about layer mask so what exactly is a layer mask why is it important in adobe photoshop or in creating compositions and what are the things that we can do with layer mask that's what we're going to do today so again lesson this is going to be our ninth lesson adobe photoshop layer mask when we say layer mask, it refers to hiding or removing certain pixels or areas of an image. So for example, removing the background of a photo, isolating the objects, and many more. So these are examples of layer mask. So for example, ganang tang tango na to ang background sa atong photo. Ganang tang replace na og lain nga picture, lain nga color, lain nga background. So that is already considered as layer masking. Meaning, you are trying to mask your image so that you can put it, you can put anything to it. Diba? So, removing or hiding some pixels or areas within a photo is called layer mask. So again, pinaka, siguro pinaka sa yun example for a layer mask is removing the background of your photo. That is called layer mask. Now, in Adobe Photoshop, there are several ways in performing a layer mask. Here are some examples. We have adding a mask. Or in the previous or in the older Adobe Photoshop versions, it's called vector mask. Uh, we have using the selection tools and then using the pen tool and then using the quick selections. This is for version Adobe Photoshop versions 2020 or newer. So meaning sa mga bago ni Adobe Photoshop. And then adding an adjustment layer. So if you can remember, our previous lesson is about adjustment layer. And again, we can uh, we can appreciate more about adjustment layer if we're going to learn layer masking because adjustment layer is just one way of creating a layer mask as well. 
Uh, we're going to discuss all of this today. So we will start with the first one, which is adding a mask or vector mask. So adding a vector mask or adding a mask is one of the typical and perhaps the most common and most appropriate way, or perhaps kind of pinakagamit, uh, pinakagamit na way when it comes to creating a layer mask or masking a layer. Again, that is creating a mask. So let's open up Adobe Photoshop, but here it is. So we will try to remove the background of this photograph. Diba? We have here a car, an Audi R8, one of my <laughs> dream cars, and uh, we're going to remove the background. And the first way, the first way to do it is by adding a mask. Now to do so, we're going to click on the layer mask icon and then click on the layer mask down layer. So here it is. Where do you think we can find this? Asa siguro nato ni Makita sa atong workspace. Anyone? Any idea? Lalam. Asa nga, asa nato siya Makita specifically? Kanin? Yeah, it's inside the layer. Uh, it's inside the layer palette. All right, so let's open it up. And here it is. So let me move the layers right here so you can see it. This one right here. This is called layer mask. Now, in the old older version of Adobe Photoshop, it is called vector mask. But right now, for some reason, they changed it to add layer mask. So if we're going to click on it, obviously this is our photo. We click on it. Notice that it creates a thumbnail. Na siya yung box nga mo gawas. Makita ba sa inyong end? Okay, na yung box nga mo display. So this is called layer mask thumbnail. Alright, so that is, so that's it. So for us to be able to remove the background, we'll be using this layer mask thumbnail. Next step is, so diba? the first step is to create or click the layer mask icon and then click on the layer mask thumbnail. So make sure you click na ito na siya. Not not here, but here. Next step is paint the edges using the brush tool. All right, so we will use the brush tool. One of the most powerful tools in Adobe Photoshop is the brush because we can use it in any way we can. And then we will use the hard round brush style and then adjust the brush size and hardness. Use the color black to erase the background or the object or let's say the pixels and use white to refill. You may zoom in to be precise. All right, so for us to remove the background, we just have to paint the edges of our object. Okay, so we will use brush tool. So again, if to remove the background, and saan ganit ng color atong gamitan? Black, okay? So to remove the background, we have to paint it using black. And if panalitan na sayup ta, nalapaw ta gamay. So we want to refill it again. We will use white, all right? So let's try that. Let's open up our Adobe Photoshop. Let's use brush. Here it is. Or you may press the letter B on your keyboard. That's the shortcut key. And then zoom it in. To zoom in your photograph, uh, shortcut, Control plus on your keyboard. Control plus. Okay. And then, para makamove ka, makamove ka sa imuhang object or sa imuhang sa canvas around, to easily move your canvas around, press space on your keyboard. Press and hold space, and then notice nga ang akong cursor na himong kamot. Again, that is the brush. If I'm going to press space, ang cursor may mo siyang kamot, and then I can use it to move the photograph around. Just like that. Alright, let me move the layers back here so we can start painting it with black. So again, with, let's select brush. And make sure naka select us atong layer mask thumbnail. And let's use the black. To change the color, here it is. Can I click lang ninyo ng pinaka baba? And let's start painting on the edges of our uh, right click. Let's make sure that it's the hardness of our brush is 200%. And kana lang. And let's start painting the. My apologies, guys, if sometimes my laptop is working slow. I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, hold on. Let me see what I can do for the meantime. Let me... Paan lang. Medyo nag-lag akong computer ng adlawa. Hold on. So, again, just 
paint it with black. Okay, unfortunately, did you jump up paint? Hold on. Okay, so it's working faster now. Oh, I hope. All right, mga dumog lang ho, guys. Okay, my apologies for the technical problems. For some reason, may hang up laptop yun na dili siya work. So hopefully, this time it will work now. All right, so again, let's try. So again, we will open up this one right here. This is the adjustment. Uh, add vector mask or add mask and then paint it with black to remove the area. So for example, this one right here. Now notice that once we paint when once we paint the area, you will see um checkered checkered na area. May mo siyang checkered or something. That means this area right here is already transparent. So the checkered area is transparent. So Using the brush tool, you just have to paint it around. You, you may zoom it in to make sure or to, and to be precise. And then decrease the brush size a little bit so you can get into tiny spots or small spots. Okay. For, for this discussion, um, Supposedly, dapat, uh, you have to do it carefully it's because, uh, you know, to make it accurate. But for the meantime, I lang nako to But here it is. Again, we will start with the edges. You can decrease the brush size to make it a You can decrease the brush size to make it a little more accurate or precise. And make sure your brush is on 100% hardness. Para di blurry. Again, zoom it in para maka to make it precise. And so, dito pag zoom in. And so, dito zoom in, guys. Okay, control plus. Alright. And then, for you to be able to move around, para di na tamag sige gamit ane, then yung scroll bar, kana press plus. And then drag your photo. Diling nako dito na ako accurate na ayo para maumanda tayo. Now again, if for example na lapaw ta, for example kaniran, ah, whoops na lapaw. So uh, we can either just control Z or if wa kakabante nga nalapaw dahi ka, pagbalik ni mong uwi na dahi mga nalapaw. Again, ang saan ganito? Paint it with white. Okay, so paint it with white and then mubalik siya siyang original na appearance. So, black to remove, paint to, uh, white to repeal. Ah, brush ako. Thank you for asking. Um, it's the curly brush. Actually, uh, curly brush. Curly. Um, kanibang sa imong keyboard yung tapad sa P na curly angle brackets or curly brackets. So, ang open mo na ipagamay, just like that. And then, ang close mo ay pang padako. Kani tapad sa P sa keyboard yan. Ikin sa'yo gagamit ang P si Diaron. <laughs> Kani na curly brackets. Adin na, i-press na ni mo ang, key, ang curly brackets directly. Ano. Or right click, right click and then kaning slider. Ano. Kaso di mo ni makita good. So better if you're going to use the keyboard shortcut. Kaya makita ni mo right away. But again, if wala kay keyboard or some na problem ng keyboard, right click and then use this. Ano. Right, so can you gamay man area? Let's decrease the size of our brush so we can get into really tight spaces. And then let's increase it right here. Let's decrease it again. Okay. All right. Now, once we're done with the sides, diba? If we na mga edges, then 
increase the brush size and paint the the remaining kan to erase or paint to erase the na remaining background images and save the whole grammar yeah but anyway here's what we're going to do since na humana sa edges we can increase the size of our brush and then this time around just paint the rest of the background so give na lang na tong edges in that way mas madali ta Oops, that's not on brush. Alright, and once you're done, okay, that's, okay, so the, the checkered meaning everything has already been transparent. So all the checkered parts means transparent. Now to check whether or not this is really transparent, let's create a new adjustment layer and then let's add a solid color. Let's replace, let's put, let's say, yellow in the background. And that, oops. All right, and then let's move it below here. So nawala na yung katong background, but this time we're able to remove it using um, layer mask, and we're able to make the photo transparent. So we can change, we can now change the background, whatever to whatever we want it to do. Let's say changing the background, or perhaps replacing the background with a color or something like that. Okay, do you follow? So that is one way to remove the background or to performing a layer mask, that would be adding a mask. Another way is using the selection tools. So using the selection tools, there are several selection tools we can use to mask a layer. For instance, the lasso tools and the selection tools. So how, how do we access this? It's, one, it's basically one of the tools. So right here, these are the lasso tools. If we're going to right click, the, there is the lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, magnetic, lasso tool and then at, right below it we have the selection tool we have object selection uh, quick selection and magic one now we can either use these tools when performing layer mask or making selections however this may not be very accurate because we it we will only rely to the capability of your computer so we will rely on your laptops or computer's capability and adobe photoshop's um let's say artificial intelligence because we will, we will rely on them because we will let the Adobe Photoshop do the tracing for us or do the selection for us. Okay, so let's try that. Let me, let's open this photograph again. Oops. And let's duplicate this and let's hide it. Let's delete the layer mask to set it back to the original photo. So we will use the lasso tool right here. And again, these tools, however, will rely on Adobe Photoshop's interpretation to the object and may not be very accurate. Thus, this may require some getting used to. But we will try. So let's start with the lasso tool. So how do we use lasso tool? So again, 
use the lasso tool or press L on your keyboard and then all you need to do is just trace the edges of the object that you wanted to select. Now, now this will require some getting used to because obviously dili kaya siya accurate. So I'll try to make it as accurate as you can, but so you have to trace the edges of the of the the edge of the photo. And then make sure na mag-abot ang first na point o ang last point. Once you're done, here it is. Mugama Ashik Selection. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? And let me go and film it. Medyo nawala. Alright. Okay, the selection, meaning kanina yung mga gandagandagan nga nga rag ants alright that means that we've already selected it so if we're going and then to mask it same thing we just have to click add layer mask and then that's it however if we're going to look closely did it guys accurate now we can either continue working on this one but I'm to make it more accurate so we can use the lasso tool for example kana And then paint it with uh, black. So lasso tool to select and then paint it with black. Again, lasso tool. Let's select the area, kato mga extra nga area, mga na kapin kapin. And once you're done, brush, black brush, and then paint it with black. So we can either just keep on doing it until such time that it's more accurate. So that is one way. However, this will again this will require a lot of time to getting used to. Dapat mo practice yung tagmayo. Make sure dili ka kaya ka kuro ng kamot so that you can use the lasso tool properly. There is another way though, which we have polygonal lasso polygonal lasso tool. The polygonal lasso tool may not be very convenient. May not be very appropriate for this kind of situation since we are trying to select an area or an object that has lots of curves curve the lot because what the lasso tool does is for example let me erase this let's select the second one which is the lasso polygonal lasso tool if we're going to click we create the automatic of straight line delete tama ka create of curve lines with the lasso tool that's a problem so the lasso tool will only be perhaps useful if we're going to select Areas nga kana na straight nga mga edges. Let's say mo select tag box, what's pa man mga yeah mga ob mga box or mga objects nga that has straight edges. But since our car here has lots of curves, puro curves yata nand. This may not be very practical to use. Pero here's a trick though. Compared to the lasso tool, this will be this might be a little more help helpful. All you need to do is just make sure to zoom it in as close as you can. And then that's it. You just have to trace the edges. But this time around, delete the curves. You just have to click on pressing it as close as possible para delete obvious ang yahang mga straight lines. And then, so if na eye curves, make sure nga imo siyang di click closer together. For example, kani curves siya kaayo, make sure nga imo di click double rasila. Di follow? Now, for example, straight mga good siya. Dili matakagama o curve good sa polygon na lasso tool. Again, however, you can still use it. Just make sure na ang imong mga points double ra kaayo. Para dili obvious ang iyahang straight lines. Okay, mura ta o gakat ba? Mura ta gakat using gunting. Kaya ba lang tayo gunting? O mukha ta straight mo na sige. So, ginantang mo curve. Dapat pagamyo na ito ang atong cut para makakurve ka. So the same thing. But compared to the regular lasso tool, this might be a little more helpful compared to the lasso tool because if you lasso tool, you can zoom out the zoom out. This one, you just have to click, click, click. Man. Okay, so that's it. Let's see what happens.
Again, to move your canvas around, just press, make sure to press space bar. Alright, so nag-abot na siya. It made a selection. And then same thing, press the, ane, the add layer mask. And then that's it. So compared to the regular lasso tool, this might be a little more um, clean and accurate. Next is we have Magic Wand Tool. Now, the Magic Wand Tool, somewhat na dili siya practical when it comes to this because the Magic Wand Tool will only be useful if na ay solid nga background ang imuha picture. So, since our picture here has kanang complicated kaya ang background, kane, dili man solid ang background, the Magic Wand Tool may not be very. Uh, magnet, magnet, magnetic class of tool. So here it is. Mag, magnetic class of tool. The magnetic class of tool, however, I can hold on. Can I right click and then magnetic class of tool? All you need to do is just click your first point and then hover it. I hover lang nimo and ang Adobe Photoshop mo try siyag pangita o mga edges. Wala ko ga click ron. We hover and Adobe Photoshop will try to find the edges. And that. And that. And But then again, we will, it, we will, it will rely on the laptop's capability or your computer's capability. So this may not be very practical if we're going to make it as accurate as we can. But still, So we'll try this. Let's try to finish tracing the, the edges. So again, wala ko ga-click. Ako ra siyang gi-hover. O ang Adobe Photoshop na mismo ang nangita sa mga edge. Try siya o pangita o edges on its own. That's why it's called magnetic because nangita na siya edge and nawa na, nasayop na. Oh. Alright, and once you're done, um, kana, the selection will be made, and then press here. Alright, it still works, but it's not really delicatian in the tanawan because tanawa here la, lumpy ang yung delicate straight lines, medyo magubot ang yung lines. Do you follow? Alright, what else? We have tada, object selection tool. Same thing. Basically, it will we will it will rely on the Adobe Photoshop to try to scan the photo and then try to look for the subject or the object. So let's try the object. I'm um, sorry, the object selection tool. So again, press L on your keyboard or W rather, and then object selection. And all you need to do is just create a box, kana. And make sure that the entire object, which is in this case our car, will be inside the box. And then let go and then wait until this, the, the Adobe Photoshop is, is done analyzing the photo. Loading Right now, the Adobe Photoshop is trying to analyze the object to look for the kind of object itself just like that all right do you see the selection so it made a selection pero dili gyapon siya accurate kana kan sa bukid na apil ang bukid ang bumper wala na apil ang bang part sa bumper and ang bukid na apil all right we can always select uh, correct that by selecting the quick selection tool make sure na naka minus and then ana all right, so that is object selection. And next is we have quick selection. So here it is. Quick selection will allow us to go on. All we need to do is just hover on the parts that we want to select. And same thing, Adobe Photoshop will try to analyze the photo itself. So select quick selection tool. And if you're going to click on it, now I have three options here. This one will just free paint or add new selection or create new selection. And then on the middle, we have add to selection. And then we have subtract from selection so make sure you're on the add selection and then just try um just go on 
click and drag it around and then Adobe Photoshop will try to find some of the edges and then all you need to do is just bring the koan ano eh imurang dal imurang i hover ang or imurang i drag ang cursor near to that edge and then Adobe Photoshop will try to find the edge by itself just like that okay so for example kain nalapaw so if nalapaw you wanted to remove that spot then click on the subtract from selection, kana kana na minus, and then zoom it in, and then this will remove that area. Okay, and then click click the plus again so that we can add the bumper. Okay, the problem is just bumper, and then minus again to remove this area right here. Okay. And then plus again, so we can include the wheel, the tires. And I guess that's it. Once you're done, click on the add layer mask here. Okay, so it works. However, delete good yung punch after it's ayo because look at that. Delete siya ka perfect. So far, you in this situation, what is the one? Pinakanin dot so far ng atong na try. Ngamurag nindo siya compared to the rest. Katong add mass, which is kani. So far, kani pa ang better na way. So because the reason why daghan ka ayong ways on creating a layer mask because it will depend on the situation, depends on the photograph that you try to select, diba? So since we have very we have a photograph that has lots of curves, that's why so far the best way to do it was katong using the layer mask. All right. So obviously, uh, quick selection mask didn't work as well. Did it? work well let's try the magic one same thing the magic one uh, let's erase this this will only be applicable if you have a solid background for example naka picture niya ayang background is white tanan then you can select the magic one if you don't can I, automatic question mo create of selection but obviously it will not work properly here because our photo is just very complicated all right so that's it another way of Selection is using the pen tool. Pen tool is one of the most important and most one of the most powerful tool in Adobe Photoshop because we can use it in any way. We can I, we can also use it for layer mask. All right. So before okay, even um ever since I started using Adobe Photoshop, every time I ganahan ko mag layer mask or mag remove of mga backgrounds, I'm often I often use pen tool because it just gives me more confident confidence is because it will provide um go on kind of cleaner and more accurate way of tracing or selecting a photograph so using the pen tool press p on your keyboard hear this and let's have a practice for now because using pen tool is very complicated and in fact we will have an additional class or we will have an echo and siguro segue a class specifically only for pen tool in the future but this is how pen tool works first is you're going to create if we're going to click once, right? So notice na mulib siya of mark. So this is called anchor point. Do you see it? Makita ba siya yung screen? Ana? Alright, so this is called anchor point. Now what will happen if we're going to click another anchor point? Ana? So if you click another anchor, if you're going to add another anchor point, a line will automatically be connected. Kita mo sa line? It automatic siya connect. Let's try again. Let's add another anchor point. Same thing. The other gap on of lines. Na. So if we're going to keep on clicking region until such time that you will click the very first point, you'll be able to create lines, right? But most of the lines, since imurang na click is ang yung dagama is straight lines only. However, how are we going to create curved lines? If we're going to click it once, it will only create straight lines. However, if, how are we going to create curved line? So first is you drop your first anchor point, and then on your next anchor point, click and hold it. Click, hold, and drag. Now this may this may require some getting used to. So all you need to do is make sure to practice it yourself. Um, click and drag, and then let's see how it affects to the line. 
Ana. So by by click and dragging the second point around, you'll be able to create a curve. Now continue doing so, it will create a flow of the curve. So if wala kay buhaton, magpadayon rin siya nga curve. Ana. However, what if ganaan ko nga after the first curve, dili na curve ang sunod nga anchor point. For example, kani ganahan ko nga sunod ani nga line is straight. For example, mo create ta og kanto na create no ta og crescent moon. Okay. okay, crescent. So, ganahan ko nga mo gama og ana diha, inana. How are we going to do so because if we're going to click again, mo padayon man ang flow sa curve. To do so, we're going to break the anchor point. To break the anchor point, click up on your keyboard and then press on the second anchor point. If you're going to click on it, notice nga nawala ang iyahang katong control dere. So this time around, we'll be able to create a sharp edge. Just like that. Do you see it? Okay, again, if dili na to i-break ang anchor point, for example, kana dili na to i-break, if we're going, kana, mahitabo, muna yung mahitabo, kana mo, mo padayon ang iyahang curve ba? So again, if you wanted to create a sharp edge, so Control Z, we have to break the anchor point. So again, click Alt on your keyboard, and then press on. Makita ni mo, nag-click ni mong Alt, it's because once we you hover the anchor point, na siya ka ng mura gamay nga, um, mura open angle bracket nga icon. Click on that, oops, hold on. Click on that, the anchor point will be break, will be broken, and then you'll be able to create a sharp edge in a line. Alright, so we will use this pen tool in tracing the edges of our car. So let's start right about here and then let's let's proceed our next anchor point right about here. And then again, right now it's straight line, diba? Right? But if we're going to hold and go on, um, drag, we'll be able to create a curve and make sure that that curve matches on the object itself. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's proceed. Let's proceed here. Okay, this is what this is what I mentioned about ago. Karon di na nato ma control. All right, okay, let's proceed. All right, just keep on pressing. Okay, this time around. Kani, for example, kana dili na nato ma control is because of the flow of the curve. So this time we have to break it. Control Z, we have to break the uh, up the anchor point so that we can start a new curve right here. Actually, it would be better if every time we create the anchor point for our pen tool, make sure we break nato ang anchor point all the time para ma control nato ang yaha flow. All right, so just keep press um, click and break the anchor point and then just continue now again this pen tool will allow you to provide you of better and cleaner and more accurate not trace or let's say selection however medyo kinahalan na tong practice ayo to be better at it so when if na laptop or na mo um, computers at home make sure to practice it how to use pen tool and by the way, for those who doesn't have any laptops or computers at home, um, please make sure to take note of the steps that I provided because for your assignment, if you dili mo kagama o actual nga project or hand output, you will just go on, um, list down the step-by-step -step procedure on how to create a project. So you will just go on to write down step-by-step -step procedure instead of actually doing the Hands on activity, so please make sure to take note. Do you follow? Okay, all right. So, once we're done, so to make sure nga nata, make sure nga ang first point ni mo o ang last point mag -abot. So, once you're done, kana na trace na ang edges. What's next? Okay, so here's what how we do it. Uh, click the pen icon in the toolbar, so that's you would have done that. Click once to create an anchor point. Click and drag to create a curved line. Alt click to break the curved line, and then use Alt or Control to adjust the lines, and then make sure to end 
the trace by clicking on the first anchor point. So we're already done with that. The next is make a selection. Right click, then make select make selection. And the next is skip the feather radius to zero. Click OK. So here, na na type and tool, na na trace na nato. Right click and then make selection. And then once we click make selection, this dialog or window will display. Make sure the feather radius is zero and then press OK. All right. Once we press OK, notice many kama na po siya kaya selection, just like what we've been doing. And then click on the add layer mask again. All right. But this time, if we're going to compare it with whatever it is uh, with what we did a while ago, this time mas dim dot na ang yung edge. Bantay mo compared to what we did a while ago. So let's take, let's compare it to our just koan. Nana, kani sloppy kayo. But this one is much better. Do you agree? All right. So for you to have koan, para if kinalang pag practice when it comes to adjustment layer, uh, layer masking, the pen tool will allow, will give you a more precise selection, just like what we did. All right, so next is we have layer mask using quick selections. This is only for versions 2020 or newer. So if you're using Adobe Photoshop, um, this older version of 2020, uh, Adobe Photoshop, this may not be, this option may not, may or may not be available. So this, again, most of this quick selections will only be available for versions 2020 or above. So here are the selection tools. So for newer Adobe Photoshop versions, there are several ways of making selections much easier to access. Click on the select button on the menu bar. So again, um, let me hide this. Here, at the menu bar at the top, uh, click select, and here it is. We have color range, focus area, subject sky and select and mask so these are the quick selections and some of them is not available for older adobe photoshop version so let's start with the color range color range selects pixels based on the sample colors so what for using color range all we need to do is just select a color as a sample and then adobe photoshop will select will create a selection out of those color so for example select color range and Ganan kung i-select tanan ng mga red parts. So all we need to do is uh, notice nga akong cursor ni Himo siyang mura of eyedropper. Meaning we are going to take a sample from the photo. So if we're going to click on it. So right now, the, the Adobe Photoshop has already collected red na sample. So we can add more. Just keep on pressing. And then... Click OK, uh, and then we can either increase the fuzziness and then press, press OK. Now, this will automatically create a selection out of the color, similar color na yung pick. Obviously, this is not going to be a very useful in this situation. Maybe this is only useful for a simple na mga objects. Let's say you have a simple object that doesn't have any other colors on it, then this is useful. Another example is focus area. So same thing, select and then focus area. What it does is it allows the app to calculate focus areas and make selections out of it. Let's try it. Select and then focus area. And then we will just wait until Adobe Photoshop is done analyzing the photo and then it will create a selection out of it. Okay, so muna yung gibuat, yung gi-select. Dili ka ayo siya nindot. So obviously this is not going to be helpful for this situation. So we'll cancel that. Let's try another one. Subject. All right. So this might be useful in this situation. So select and then subject. Now what it does, it will try to analyze the photo and look for the subject. So here it is. So automatic siyang niselect sa car. Do you see it? However, there are still some inaccuracies, just like this. And I delicate accurate. But anyway, you can still correct it using the lasso tool. 
So here, the bumper is na, na sa bumper. So you can always correct it later on. And then another one is sky. All right, The sky allows the app to automatically find areas that look looks like skies. For example, here, we have here a photograph. Uh, this photograph has sky on it. And then using that option, okay, it will select the entire skies. So this is useful. For example, na picture ka, na take a picture of yourself and may, maybe dag om and ganahan kang na islan ang, ang sky. Islan ni mugla ng uh, picture, lain ng picture sa sky. Then you can do that right here. So for example, uh, let's open, let's download that. Let's try to download a photograph of a sky and we'll replace the sky. So for example, isla na to, uh, let's say, kani. Kaso gamay siya kaya. Let's increase the size. Uh, let's say, kani da. Okay, let's copy. And paste it right here. All right, in the meantime, let's move it to the bottom. And then let's go back to our photo, select, and then sky. Okay, so uh, the the Photoshop automatically selects the area, na, na ice sky, and then you can do whatever you want with it. So you can either make a selection or make create a, uh, let's say, um, layer mask. So all we need to do is the same thing. Click on the layer mask right here. However, here's, here's what's gonna happen. Nabali ang ang sky mo na bilin ang car mo nawala. Do you, do you see it? Ang nawala ang car. How do we fix it? We were we are going to invert the selection. So pre press or click on the layer mask thumbnail and invert. Control I. We go into control i mabali siya all right and then this time we can move around our we can move around the sky right about here for example can I? Okay. do you follow okay that's good and then lastly is we have Okay, let, let me just remove this because I don't want this to look like that. Let me remove the sky as well. And then one of the last of the which selection tool is select and mask. This is manual but easy way of making selections. In this case, um, let me tell you, this is not going to be very uh, uh, if in any situation. The select and mask can be as Okay. This option right here, select and mask, will only will be most useful in the whenever can mo select the areas or a photograph na I complicated the edge. So example, can you think of any object or any picture na complicated ang yung edge? Murabag lisut it trace ang yung edge ba? For example, hair. Diba? Do you think everything that we've done so far will be able will be able to use it to trace hairs? But if you have hair that is fuzzy, that is you know, fuzzy, something like that. So most of the uh, masking tools or techniques that we've learned, that we've discussed, may not be very useful. However, by using the select and mask option, we'll be able to, well, it will be very useful when it comes to selecting areas or objects that has very complicated, um, complicated edges. So let's say, for example, let's open up a photograph. Say kani. Okay. So notice that the photograph, okay, and here's how the model is very fuzzy. And there's no way that we can trace all of these strands one by one. Am I right? Agriba? Okay. So that's why this is where the select and mask is really helpful. So how are we going to do it? First is we're going to use our lasso tool. 
and then, and then we're just going to quickly trace around the subject roughly lang trace na to around the subject this is to minimize the amount of effort adobe photoshop will be doing for our photo so atorang i trace ang overall nga sh shape sa atong object and then once you're done basically the selection will be made and then click on select and then select a mask so here it is this um this window will display so the red kani mga red nga part mo ni siyang atong i-remove now we want to make sure nga ma-appeal pod ang mga edges sa ato ang sa hair sa atong model so to do so on the right side we have here on the left side we have here quick selection tool we have refine edge tool we have brush tool and then object selection so on and so forth we want to select the refine edge tool the second one click on it and then we just have to paint the areas that have hairs on it so ato ra pintalan tong area na na hair ana ato ra pintalan ang mga area na hair so paint it around what it does is adobe photoshop will try to eliminate those those area for example in this case areas to give way of the hair. So again, our focus here is only the hair. Bahala na ang atong ubang part sa atong model. We can always use the other ways. Let's focus on the hair itself. Alright, so I think that's it. And then, on the right side, scroll down and select any and inside or under the output settings make sure the decontaminate colors checkbox is checked and you click the union decontaminate colors and then press ok all right so basically um the adobe photoshop is able to select the areas of the hair and then we'll check to see how it looked like now let's create a an adjustment layer let's can i put on that and then let's move it at the bottom. Here it is. Okay, so we're able to select the edges. We're able to create a mask, but this time we're able to keep these strands of her hair. Na keep nato ang mga strands sa iya ha here. And then for the rest of her body, we can always use all the other tools that we've learned so far. So we can either use the pen tool. So we're just going to trace the rest of her body. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then right click, make selection, and then paste it with or brush it with color black, just like what we've been doing a while ago. Same thing for the right side. Using the pen tool, let's select this area right here. So obviously, this is the delication in the tanaron, but uh, since we don't have enough time to work on it, hold on. But obviously, if you'll be doing it yourself, you have to make sure to make it as accurate as possible. And then right click and then make selection, press OK, and brush it with color black. All right, so that's it. So that is another way of um, using quick selections. And then lastly, using the adjustment layers. So um, right now, uh, I'm just going to discuss it as, as we go, but this time around, we're going to create, we're going to apply everything that we've learned and we're going to create a composition. Would that be okay, everyone?
Are you still there? Okay. This time, we're going to create a composition and we will try to apply everything that we've learned from the previous lesson, which is about um, adjustment layers and today, which is the masking layer or a layer mask. So for that, we will, we will try to recreate this. Actually, I've already done and here it is. So from this photograph, we will try to make it look like this, right? So from this to this. So um, so far, everything that we've done, um, basically this is using, or this is modified, or this is comp this composition is using only um, the lessons that we've already taken, that we've already learned, like the katong adjustment layers and layer masking. All right. So this time around, we'll be able to understand why is it na mas nindot man jud for us to be able to appreciate layer um, adjustment layer. We have to learn layer masking first. All right. So let me open up Adobe Photoshop and let me erase the rest of the image. Let's say honey. And okay, obviously the first thing that we're going to do is we'll create a selection, which is kani nakamat naman tana. Let me just duplicate it. And let me remove the layer mask for the second one. So we're already done selecting. So let's just proceed to the next step. The first step that we're going to do is, uh, by the way, let's try to compare. What do you think is the difference between this photo, Kani, and Kani? What's the difference the difference? Okay. First is from daytime, na mo siyang nighttime, di ba? Correct? And then, uh, since ngit-ngit naman, di pa siga na itong suga. And then from red, we change the color from red to black. Alright, so we're going to try to recreate that. Although, this took me a lot, a lot of time to work on it. And this time, we're just going to make it as, as, as fast as we could. Now, um, our focus now is we're able to, we will be able to change the photograph from daytime to nighttime. We will add the headlight and then maybe the reflections. All right. And then you can continue working on it on your own. Okay. So let's do that. Let's open up our Photoshop. And then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn it from nighttime to, or uh, from daytime to nighttime. And that will be using the adjustment tool. And let's use the exposure. All right, so again, uh, adjustment tool and then exposure. So this is the properties. If properties will not display, if dili mo display sa yung end, I'll make sure to select window and then properties. There it is. So first is we're going to decrease the exposure right about here. So let's hide our concept. So let's decrease the exposure right about here and perhaps increase the gamma a little bit. Okay, so this is the before and after. Medyo nangit -ngit na siya All right. And this is our photograph. However, ganahandra ko nga, ganahandra ko ang uh, mungit -ngit nga part is katorang sky o ang naasa layo na area. Obviously, katong naasa dool, dili ra siya ngit -ngit ang naasa dool. So how are we going to do that? We will use this. Notice that whenever we add Katong pag add nato sa ex, um, adjustment layer, ni create siya og thumbnail, just like layer mask. So notice nga ni create siya og layer mask thumbnail, uh, layer mask thumbnail, correct? So again, let me, let's try again. Delete. Delete na ako na yung layer. Uh, let's try again. Delete na ako na. So again, let's try. If we're going to select the adjustment layer, and then we're going to select the exposure, notice na ni create siya automatically of exposure. So that means we'll be using it for masking. So for example, let's go back. Let's set the exposure right about here. Let's increase the gamma a little bit. And then here. Notice nga na asya yang kaugalingun na layer mask thumbnail. So we will use this thumbnail to remove some areas that we don't want to be dark. Alright, so what do you think is 
Isa siguro para makitan mapahayag nato ang road balik. Isa siguro itong buhaton. We will paint it with black para ma-remove to mga area na dito nato ito ganang ma-appeal. So just like that. Or decrease the hardness. For example, kana. So let's check. So mauni ang kana. So right now, the only thing that is darkened is only the light, uh, the sky, and the area nga layo. Diba? So we can either increase it further, maybe decrease the exposure a little, little bit. Alright. So that's it. Next is, uh, let's create a group. Let's call it ambience. Oh, wrong spelling. Um, yes. Alright. And then next is, obviously we have to change the exposure of our um, car as well to make it look like it's an act. Nagabin ang kunsya appeal. Daily lang ang background na nagabin ang. The same thing, exposure. Let's click on our car. And then select exposure. Um, say, um, adjustment layer, select exposure. This time, let's decrease a little bit. Just a little bit because. Kana, anat lang. And then increase the. Alright. And then same thing. Since right now, pag butang nato sa exposure din, na appeal po ang sa obos. And we want to make sure that this exposure will only affect this photo. Unsao nato pag. Unsao nato na. Nga kaning exposure will only affect this photo kana tong car how do we think we're going to do that who can remember na dapat mo affect ra siya mo affect ra siya sa car mismo all right you can remember this one we're going to create a clip a mask we're going to click on that okay so this this exposure will only affect to the car itself bantay mo ang car lang mo na usog because we created a mask. So let's decrease it a little bit. Right about here. Alright. Okay. But, however, ganahan ko nga ang likod, ang atubangan, mura ragya po siya ng hayag at maayo. So how we're going to do that? Same thing. Let's select the layer mask, thumbnail, and then paste the area, the front area with color black. I'm going to paint it right here. Mubalik na siya ng hayag. Bali, ang nangit-ngitan lang is katong likod na part. This is the before. This is the after. Alright. And then perhaps another technique to make sure na it, that it will blend properly. Please take note of this. Can it? To make sure that um, everything will blend properly, right-click on the layer. Click on the blending mode. And then here. Ang pinaka bottom it says underlying layer. Nakita ba niyo? Okay, na underlying layer here. This one right here at the na, na slider if we're going to move can I, and this uh, sliders can be moved around. So from the very left part or kani sa pinaka bottom, let's move it a little bit to the right until you will see some fuzziness. I'm not sure if makita ba niyo sa inyong end. Because you, you if you're using smart um, mobile devices, but here na yung makita mga fuzziness. So if we're going to move it on the right side, na yung mga fuzzy nga area. That's a good sign. That means we'll have we'll just have to fix the fuzziness. To do so, click out on your keyboard. Again, out. If we're going to click out, bungkago nato ng slider. To do so, click out and then click and drag it to the left. Kabante mo na bungkag siya. So this will allow us to blend the photograph even more. All right. So press OK. So this is the before. This is the after. Let's do the same thing with katong sa tong ambiance kaya na kani. Let's do the same thing. Blending mode. And then let's move this to the right side a little bit. Okay, until such time makita tayo mga fuzzy na area. And then click Alt to break it and make it blend even more. 
Alright, then press OK. So let's see. Okay. So next is medyo nagit medyo nyit-nyit naman sa atong photograph. This time pasigaon na natong suga sa atong car. Shall we? <laughs> sigaon na nato sa pangit kita gamay. All right. To do so, we're going to create uh we're going to create a group for now and butang nato may of car. And we'll create another layer. Butang nato si babaw sa car. All right. And then this time we'll, we will use our pen tool and we will trace the headlight of the car itself. Atong it trace ang headlight. So pen tool, so press P on your keyboard and then we will trace the headlight. Oops, nalapaw dito. Okay, and then let's do the same thing on the right side. And then, okay, so once we've traced it, right click and then make selection, just like what we did a while ago. And then make sure the feather radius is zero. Press OK. All right. So na trace na ang headlights sa tong car. This time we're going to create we're going to create an adjustment layer. So select adjustment layer here and select solid color. Again, solid color and we will select color white. All right. So again, we selected the headlight. We created an adjustment layer and we choose color white. So this is before. This is the after. All right. How do you follow, guys? And then, okay. So obviously, this headlight looks very fake. So make sure we will blend properly on the headlight itself. So on the blending mode, kani, on blending mode, makita nato sa dere. Kani, usually it's normal. Let's set the blending mode to let's say, um, let's say overlay. Okay, overlay. So this is overlay. So gaina, gaina, this is normal. And then let's set it to overlay uh, to make it blend more. And then same thing that we did a while ago, right click, blending options. And then the underlying la layer, let's move it to the right a little bit. Dere. And then let's break it by clicking out and move the other side to the right. All right, I'm not sure if makita niyo, but right now it blends well. This is before, this is the after. And after that, let's go. Let's go ahead and create a new layer, another layer, and let's set the blending mode to screen. So from normal, let's set it to screen, and then we'll use the brush. Butangan nato og hayag ang ato suga. So, use the brush, make sure the hardness is 0%. And then, pagamina nato gamay, siguro here. And then, at the middle, press, I click nato. Oops, let's change it to white. And then, kana. Let's do the same thing here. Pagamina nato gamay. And then maybe more para high juga ayo. Okay, so make sure it's screen. Let's say not blank up. All right, so that's it. We have our lights now. And let's group this para sa inyo. Let's call it headlight. So this is the before, this is the after. Alright, so kana, na natay suga. What usually happens if na ay suga? What will happen to the surrounding guys? 
what will happen to the surrounding if na ay suga, na siga, siga. Muhayag, mu reflect, alright? There's some kind of, there should be a way that the light will reflect to the surrounding. So, in this case, asa siguro mu reflect ang suga. Think, asa siguro mu reflect ang suga. Ha? Sa asa? Sa asa di ay? Sa road, dere. Alright? So how are we going to do that? Uh, let's create a new folder. We're going to add reflection here. So let's create new uh, new layer. And let's see, let's rename it with let's call it uh, road reflection. And then all we need to do is just using your brush tool, let's increase the size and make sure we selected color white. And then we're just going to brush it right here. Oops, grab it na kayo. And let's just brush it right here. Oops, grab it na. Hold on, let's try again. Okay, siguro kanin. Alright? And after that, same thing that we've been doing, let's select, let's change the blending mode to uh, screen, kana? And then right click, blending mode, and then at the bottom, let's move it to the right side, kana? And then break it, press Alt, and then move it to the left. And then continue changing the, to make it look more realistic. So, then as a reflection, this is the before. This is the after. Okay? So, actually, you can do more. Let's see. Uh, let me see what else I can do. Hold on. Okay. And what else? Asa pa, asa pa siguro mula ay mo-reflect na ito ang suga. Asa pa, lain nga, asa pa man lain mo-reflect. So sa car itself, dapat na ako reflection sa atong car here. So we'll create a new layer again. And then this time we'll use the pen tool. And then we're going to trace here, some area that will serve as the reflection. Okay, and then right click, make selection. Press OK, and then same thing, create an adjustment layer, solid color, and then that's it. Press OK. Well, obviously, this is very, this, this looks very fake, diba? Right? So, same thing that we've been doing. On the blending mode, let's select overlay. Instead of normal, let's select overlay, and let's see the difference. This is the before, this is the after. Still looks very fake. So, how to fix it? On the thumbnail, uh, let's paste it with white. This time, let's increase the. Uh, let's paint it with a white color. Okay, grab it kayo ang edges niya. So let's paint. Let's paint it with. Nana to make it look more realistic. Okay. 
And then same thing, blending mode. Move it to the right. And then break it by clicking Alt and move it to the left. Let's check. This is before. This is the after. And let's do the same thing on the right side. Let's use the pen tool. And then let's trace the areas where the eye reflections are cigar. And then right click, make selection, press OK, and then create new adjustment layer. Let's select solid color white, press OK, and then set the blending mode to overlay, and then blending mode. And then let's move the underlying layer to the right, and then break it down by pressing Alt, move it to the left side. OK. Let's let's move the jun to the balance. Okay. So this is before the headlight. This is after the headlight is added. Alright? So lastly, we'll try to change the color of our of our car. What color do you want guys? Yellow green. <laughs> all right, it's okay. Let's try all the colors. So to do so, go to our um one, our katong atong car na layer. Okay, let me scroll it up. Katong car na layer, and there are several ways to do it, but the easiest way is using adjustment layer still. Uh, select the car and then click on the adjustment layer. Select U and saturation. Here it is. Now, all you need to do is unsay colors atong car right now. Red, all right. So that means we we just have to select all the red color, diba? More na tong ganang change ang red ranga color. So to do so, here at the bot, the one that says master at the top, click on it and select reds. That means we will only want to change all the red colors. And then in this slider, move it around so you can change the color of the car that you want. So from red, you can either change it to let's say blue, um, light uh, turquoise. We have pink, orange, um, and then yellow. But notice na ang iyang gyo sobra is katurang color na red. That's it. Okay? So, however, if, sir, ganahan kung mahimu siyang black or white. Na wala man na dire. Dire sa taas. Wala man na black and white dire. It only shows us the color spectrum. So, to do so, all need to do is move to the, uh, go to the saturation. For example, if we wanted to set it to, let's say, black or white, set the saturation to negative 100. Right now, it's color gray. And then at the bottom, it has lightness. Move the slider to the left if you wanted to make it color black. And then if you wanted to make it color white, move it to the right side. Right? So for the meantime, let's keep it as it is, color white. And then that's it. And all right. And here it is, our car from Santo Gikan. Okay, let me group it again. So, from the original, and then using the adjustment layer and color masking, we're able to make it look like this. Alright, so do you have any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? Okay, do you think you'll be able to recreate this on your own? <laughs> it's okay, uh, don't you worry, this 
um, class is recorded and if you still have any questions you can either rewatch it again or you can always ask me anyway again adobe photoshop is very fun to learn gear as in because you can do whatever you want ganahan kang ganahan kang it change ni mo ang imong for example oh, I, what i usually do is a home motor a home motor dili na kaayo siya nindot tan-awon kay 7 years na siya so sometimes if na ko photo picture niya ganahan kong panindot siya gamay so i usually use adobe photoshop although i'm not really changing it but i'm only enhancing the color so let me show you what i'm talking about uh, okay, muna akong motor. Medyo daan-daan na siya. Dili na kayo siya nindot pa down. But I often want to change it to, you know, to make it look better. I'm not sure if na-save pa ba na akong picture. Pero I think... Alright, unfortunately, wala na na ako na-save. But I think na-add it, but pangita unang pa siya na ayos. Ano wala na-save na ako? Unfortunately, uh, we'll now on save. But anyway, um, that's it. That's it for our lesson today. So everything that we've do that we've done so far are only using, um, are only using layer mask and adjustment layer. So, um, I'm going to send you this photo, Kani, so you can, you so you can practice on your own and using the lessons that you learned today, try to recreate this or maybe enhance it a little further. Uh, what I've the tonagama is medyo mas complicated to you because I it took me a lot of time to recreate this. But it, since you have free time on your own, you can you can try applying your knowledge with what you've learned today and then try to enhance the photo even more. Alright, and then for your assignment, I'm going to post it later on. But essentially you'll be doing something similar to this. Okay?